Hi folks, Rodney here again. Hey, today I'm going to do a quick video on a question I get asked all the time. Uh, as I mentioned before in other videos, I am a salesperson at a, at a Toyota dealership. And so let me flip the camera around here so you can see what I'm uh, about to talk about. So question comes up all the time. Can we special order a vehicle? And it's there's no real definitive answer. So yes, in some cases we can. Uh, can we do it on a regular basis? No. And so I'm, I'm in uh, toyota.com right now. And what I wanted to show you is how we can go through and kind of price out the vehicle. And so as you can see here, I'm going to go in there and we're going to build and price. Uh, obviously, they want you to put in a zip code. So we've got that. Now, you can go in there and select the type of vehicle that you want. So let's uh, Tundra, I've had some videos about my Tundra. So I'm just going to pick that. Once you pick the vehicle, then it's going to ask you to kind of spec it out. <coughs> Excuse me. So you pick the, the type of vehicle that you want. Go to the next step. Uh, you pick your, your cab size and the bed size. You want two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Pick a color, you pick your interior color. Now, there is all kinds of packages to choose from. And so here's the here's what a lot of people get caught up on. They think that they can go into toyota.com, spec the vehicle out exactly the way they want it, and then they can go in there and just order that vehicle. So let me kind of explain what Toyota actually does with this information. So you go in there, you spec the vehicle out the way you want it. So let's just say we were going to go with uh, the limited power package and we were going to add the JBO audio system. Uh, let's say we want the panel moon roof. And let's say we're going to add the tier D off-road package as well. <clears throat> we're going to skip the accessories just to make this video a little bit shorter. <clears throat> so now I have a vehicle spec'd out the way I want it. So you can either request a quote uh, or you could go in there and build another vehicle. So let me explain what happens with this information. Once you have this information, it's going to ask you to put in your name and address and email address and phone number if you choose. What they do with that information is they try to pick dealerships that are, are in your proximity or in your vicinity, I should say. And they'll send them that information. And then if you have something similar to that coming in, they're going to contact you and uh, see if they can kind of uh, make the sell. So here's where people get caught up and get a little confused. They think that once they've gone in there and inspect the vehicle out the, exactly the way they want it, that somebody's going to get it built for them. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Like I said, you can go in there and you can request a quote. If they have something similar to it, they'll send you a price quote on that vehicle, but it does not mean that we can go in there and build a vehicle exactly the way they want it. <clears throat> now, there has been situations where uh, a customer has gone into a dealership and they did. They placed an order and they actually got a vehicle built. In most cases, what happens when you place an order, it goes into the order bank. We get certain allocations from Toyota um, each month. Sometimes it comes out twice a month, but you're still only gonna get so many allocations. So even if we went in there and requested to build that vehicle the way they want it, we have to have an allocation before it would ever get built. So we've had situations where we put in an order, it sits in there for a couple months, Toyota finally comes back and says, no, unfortunately we're not going to build that vehicle. And so then customer gets pretty frustrated. Uh, but there's also been situations where Toyota says, okay, we'll put it in two months in a row. And if we tell you, no, we're, we're not going to be able to build it, you know, two months in a row, then we'll try to get it built on the third try. That situation has actually uh, come to fruition several times. But there again, you have to have an allocation before that vehicle can be built. I hear some dealerships, I'll flip this back around for a moment. I hear some dealerships talk about, uh, hey, give us a $2,000 deposit. Uh, we'll go ahead and place that order for you and then we'll let you know once it comes in. 
and they don't give you any time frame. Well, what's happening is, and I got this from inside information from other dealerships, they're taking that deposit. They have no specific, they don't have the ability to order a vehicle any more than what we do. And if they get an allocation, they try to match it up as close as possible to what you've requested. The problem is you never know if you're ever going to get a vehicle. So you may sit in there for six months and uh, never hear from the dealership because they haven't come, you know, gotten anything that's even close to that. So the problem with that is people are putting these huge deposits down. They tell them six to eight months. Well, they may be number 200 on the list. And if they only get 50 allocations for that time, you may never get that vehicle. So just want to kind of give you a little inside information. I wanted to explain what exactly Toyota.com does and, and what they do with that information. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that people are not misled thinking that, you know, once they go in there and build it exactly the way they want it, they're going to get that specific vehicle. So anyway, hope this helps a little bit. If you have any other questions, like I said, I do work for a Toyota dealership. Be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, I know it's kind of daunting at this point in time, especially during COVID, uh, to find that vehicle because, you know, we're all in that same situation. So that, once again, let me know if I can help. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know uh, there again if I can help with anything. And uh, good luck with your vehicle search.